Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to the channel. We have got some beautiful fall weather happened this morning. It rained overnight, which was incredible to the sleep with the windows open and hear the rain. We've got some pretty serious wildfires going around us right now. So that the rain is definitely an answer to prayer. And friends, I'm in the mood for soup. <laughs> I want soup tonight for dinner. I told my hubby this morning, I said, you're coming home to soup tonight because I am really craving soup. Getting up to that rain this morning was all I needed to get me in the soup mood. So let's make some soup. We are still in pantry challenge, so I'm using up what I've got. I had just a little bit of bacon leftover from another recipe this week. I have some celery leftover from a recipe this week. I pulled some carrots out of our freezer from the farm. We went and got fresh carrots. So I pulled some of those out and I used the last of my Better Than Bouillon a couple of days ago. So I have some chicken broth that I froze. I boil chickens every now and then for my dogs for dog food and I save the broth. And so that's what this is. So I'm just defrosting it just a little bit in the microwave so we can add it. But to get our soup started, we're just gonna add this bacon into this pot right behind me. We're gonna get the bacon going. I'm not gonna leave the bacon in because I think it just makes it too, it just makes it chewy. I don't, I don't like that texture. So I'm gonna cook the bacon and then take it out. And I'm gonna use the bacon drippings to saute our onion, carrots, and celery, and then get our potatoes in there. This soup is gonna be delicious. I cannot wait to eat this tonight. All right, so while our bacon is going, let's get our celery cut up. Let's get some, you know, I don't even think I have onion in my house, friends. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to use the minced onion, which it'll be fine, that'll be fine. But these carrots are a little bigger than I want them to be for my soup, so I wanna dice them up just a little bit more to give them a really good chop. And I wanna do some really fine dice on some celery so we have that stuff to go in with our bacon. Let's do our celery first, and then we'll do our carrots. Looks like this piece right here wants to be chopped because it fell off. I don't want a ton of celery, but I do like that a little bit of freshness that celery gives to uh, potato soup and trim off the end. I was so excited this morning when I woke up and saw the rain because we have not had any significant rain in quite a while, several months. As you saw at the beginning of this video, I got my electric fireplace going and that is just making the house super cozy. Lit my candles. I have a couple of battery operated candles and then I have the candle that you saw me light on the top of the fireplace is a candle that was gifted to me by our pastor's wife a few weeks ago and this is the first time I've had a chance to burn it so I'm super excited about that I'm really excited I love potato soup especially this time of year I am a huge soup fan I know some people are not but I definitely am all right there's our celery Let's just dump some of these carrots out on the board. And I'm just gonna give them a really rough chop. I just want the pieces of carrot a little bit smaller than I diced them for other things. They're still a tiny bit frozen, but that's okay. And I think that probably looks good right there. I think we're gonna leave that there. Let's go stir our bacon. All right, our bacon is done. We're gonna get this onto a paper towel so it can drain. We're gonna go ahead and put in our celery and carrots. I've got five just plain russet potatoes and I like to cut these up pretty small. I don't like big huge chunks of potato in my potato soup. So I just kind of cut the potato in thirds and I kind of make planks and then I just make some small dices. 
just like that. That's about the size that I want all of my potatoes to be. All right, our carrots and celery are looking delicious. all of our potatoes give that a good stir we'll go ahead and put in some of our dehydrated onion since that's what we're using <laughs> smells incredible so I've got our chicken broth and we're gonna dump not all of this but we're gonna dump part of this into our soup pot and then we're gonna add some water probably four cups of water went in here we're gonna put in a little bit of our let's see Let's put in a little bit of our buttery poultry blend since we've got chicken broth in here. I think that will add some great flavor. And we're gonna put our lid on and we're just gonna let this simmer for, once it comes up to a simmer, I'm gonna let it simmer for a good 20 to 30 minutes. We wanna get those potatoes nice and tender. Get our vegetables cooked all the way through and we'll come back and add the rest of our ingredients. All right, friends, we've got our soup here. We let this simmer, our carrots and our potatoes, everything are really nice and tender. We're gonna put in a full eight ounce brick of cream cheese. And this is what gives our potato soup that really beautiful, rich, creamy texture. Sorry for the noise. We're also gonna put in one can of cream of chicken soup. I love, I did this years ago and I love what this cream of chicken soup does for the potato soup. It just adds that little extra bit of flavor to it. We don't want our cream cheese to curl. So we're gonna keep the temperature down on pretty low heat. And we're just gonna let slowly this cream cheese melt into our soup. Let that cream of chicken soup get incorporated. This is gonna be incredible, friends. I can't wait to eat this. So we're just gonna put our lid back on and we're gonna let this just hang out on the stove on really low heat and let everything come together. All right, friends, we're gonna put in some heavy cream. This is just gonna give us that rich, I think that should be enough heavy cream. I had another container out here if I needed a little bit more, but I think we're gonna be good. This is a loaded potato soup. I'm just gonna squeeze in a good squirt. And I'm trying to not dirty up a whole bunch of dishes. So I'm just gonna grate my cheese directly into my soup pot. I've also got my bacon over there as well as some chives, but I'm gonna save those for the top. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven because I am gonna toast some of our delicious homemade bread that we made yesterday. We're gonna have a little bit of bread with our soup. Put a little bit of our grated cheddar cheese up on top. But I do want to get a little bit of it mixed into our soup. I'm going to say a good half to three quarters of a cup of cheese. And let's see how that looks after it gets melted into our potato soup. So we're just going to stir that in. Let it get all nice and melted into our soup. I'm telling you friends, this looks incredible. 
All right, friends, our potato soup is ready. Let's go ahead and get all of our toppings on. This is a loaded potato soup. So we're gonna do just a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of bacon, Finish it off with a little bit of fresh chives. All right, friends, that is comfort food in a bowl, ready for a fall dinner. Our bread just came out of the oven. I just toasted a couple pieces of the bread that we made yesterday, that homemade, super easy, super inexpensive bread to make. It's over here on the stove. We're just gonna put a little butter on it and we're gonna have that with our soup. So I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen today as we made a delicious fall soup ready for dinner tonight. We're gonna have leftovers for tomorrow, which is gonna be great lunches for me, whatever. It's going to be perfect. It's going to last us for a few days in the refrigerator. If you guys have not yet, please hit that subscribe button up there. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. Hit that notification bell. We'd love to have you notified every time we upload a new video. We've got so many fun things coming out in the very near future. Lots of fun recipes and new cooking techniques and new things that I want to try. So you, want to be, you don't want to miss out on those things. And friends, make sure you check out my link tree link in the description box. That'll take you directly to my Amazon store. You guys can see all of the amazing products that I use from Amazon. I am getting ready to do an Amazon video for you guys here soon and show you everything that's in that Amazon link. So you guys can see all the products that I love to use every single day in my kitchen. The equipment that I use every single day. I can tell you how well it works because I use it in my kitchen all the time. So if you're looking for products to get for people for Christmas gifts or whatever the case may be, check out that list and start doing some shopping. It doesn't cost you anything to hit that link. It doesn't charge you anything if you purchase from that link. It just helps my channel out. So make, make sure you check that out. So friends, we're gonna go enjoy this delicious soup. Thank you guys again so much for joining me in my kitchen. It means so much to me that you guys take time out of your day to come and spend time with me and hang out and see what I'm cooking, see what I'm doing in here. And friends, we'll talk to you guys in the comments. Have a great day and God bless. Thank you.